Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all my brothers and sisters all around the Muslim world. I love all of you for the sake of Allah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. I begin in the name of Allah and thanking Allah and asking Allah to send peace and blessings upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is another reminder, first to myself, before anybody else. I know it's been a while since I've made any videos and um, I'm not really making them consistent like I used to. But um, I've had to get my life, you know what I mean, in a better place and get myself together. Um, I notice a lot of Muslims preaching and giving advice on Islam that they themselves don't follow. Uh, and I don't want to be like that. Uh, that's one of my fears. And also, I see a lot of Muslims giving knowledge and preaching and they have no knowledge on Islam. They don't even know how to read the Quran in Arabic. I don't think you should be really preaching too much if you don't have much knowledge on something and if you your own life isn't in order, your own affairs aren't in order. And I don't want to be like that. So I had to take some time to get, you know, more knowledge, enroll into some more Quran classes and to get myself uh, to the character of a Muslim. And inshallah, I've made some kind of progress in that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making this video. So... Alhamdulillah for that, and inshallah, we'll get into the reminder. One thing I'm noticing I see on social networks, and it's very disgusting, I see a lot of people sharing things, uh, Muslims in particular, doesn't matter what really non-Muslims do, uh, the focus is on what Muslims do. I notice a lot of Muslims sharing things on their pages, whether that's Twitter or Facebook, that are very inappropriate, things such as sex tapes, uh, images of people naked or half naked, images of people fighting. Uh, maybe the woman gets naked during the fight or blouse gets ripped, whatever. Just a lot of stuff that we know is not really from the dean. And I don't know how this even happened because it makes no sense to share something like that if you're Muslim, but obviously we're doing it so we must not know any better so inshallah this reminder can be of a benefit allah says in the quran in chapter 24 verse 19 allah says verily those who like who love that immorality should be publicized allah says those people who like that immorality sins should be publicized scandal those that like that this should be publicized, Allah says, those people will have a painful punishment in this life and the hereafter. And Allah says, he knows and you do not know. Like, so notice what Allah is saying. We never think that Allah will do anything in this life. We think that, you know, we can commit sins. We can do pretty much whatever we want and Nothing is going to happen, bad or good, until the day of judgment. When we get to the day of judgment, we'll deal with everything then. But for right now, Allah doesn't do anything. Every single action that happens in this life is from Allah, good or bad. So notice what Allah is saying in this verse. Allah is saying that people who like scandal, like that scandal, immorality, sins, inappropriate things should be publicized will have a humiliating torment in this life and in the hereafter. So Allah is saying to you, he's going to punish you now and later. And for anyone who doesn't believe this verse, then you are a kafir. You're not even a Muslim. If you do not believe in anything that Islam says, any even one verse, if me saying this to you, and you hear it and it doesn't register, it doesn't mean anything, you don't believe that Allah will punish you for sharing these inappropriate things, these people committing these sins, this, this disgusting nonsense we share on Facebook and Twitter that we know ain't a part of Islam, that we know is wrong. If you don't believe that Allah will punish you for doing this the way he just said in this verse, you are a kafir. You are not even a Muslim. Understand that. You are not even... In Islam anymore, when you believe that, you enter kufr. So you're not even Muslim anymore if you don't believe that Allah will punish you as he says in this verse. 
Allah is saying that those of us who like that immorality, these sins, this junk we share, he is going to punish you in this life and the next. What benefit do we get from sharing this stuff? People fighting, women naked, men naked, the gay stuff, all this not all this junk we are sharing on our Facebook profiles and in these groups that we think is funny and hilarious and a joke. Like, are you a Muslim, man? You think that just because your name is Muhammad or Aisha or you have a Muslim name and you wear a hijab or whatever like that, you got a kufi. Do you think that this makes you a Muslim? You fool. This does not make you a Muslim. A Muslim, being a Muslim is the way you live, the way you act. Now, don't please don't take this video out of context thinking that every single thing we have to do revolves around Islam. And what I mean is, I'm not saying you can't have fun and enjoy your life, man. Enjoy your life and have fun. Go out with your friends. Share things on your Facebook profile. Share family pictures, graduation pictures, um, depending on whatever ruling you follow when it comes to pictures. But share your life, share videos, share experiences, share sports scores, whatever. Have fun and enjoy your life. Do whatever it is you want to do. You know what I mean? That's fun. But you got to have some kind of morals when you do stuff like that, when, when, when you're having fun. What benefit do we get from sharing such and such a sex tape? Uh, the hell are these people's names? Uh, Rico and, and Nini, whatever, love and rap, whatever. What benefit do we get from sharing these people's sex tape? What benefit do we get from sharing people uh, a fight? What, what, what is this stuff? This is not from my dean. I don't, I don't understand why we have to share things like this. This is not from the dean. Okay? We are Muslims. We are not Kafirs. Understand that. We are Muslims. You don't need to share stuff like this, man. And so there's a cutoff point with some of the stuff we do. Believe me, I am not uptight. Anyone who knows me will tell you I am probably the biggest jokester in the world. Straight up. But there's certain stuff that's just not funny and, and it's just not appropriate. And we don't need to associate ourselves with it. Come on. Seriously. So may Allah guide us and may Allah rectify our affairs. And then this is the worst part. This is the worst part of sharing sex tapes, embarrassing photos, the little photos, making fun of people with the memes, you know, uh, a, a photo of someone that doesn't really look good or whatever like that. And then there's a meme. Damn, this girl sure look ugly or this dude sure look ugly. The, the sad part of sharing these sex tapes and all this foolishness and this garbage, these memes and stuff we share on Facebook and Twitter, making fun of these people. What if these people convert to Islam? What if these people convert to Islam one day? And another thing, because some people watching this video might say, man, but these people ain't going to convert to Islam. These sex, these people in rap and entertainment, these people we sharing these photos of and these videos, they're not going to convert to Islam. I'm trying to figure out when did you become a God that you know any goddamn thing about anything? When did you know the future? I didn't know we knew the future. Uh, last time last time I checked, if you even thought you knew the future, you become a Kafir just by thinking like that. And you become a non-Muslim thinking that you know the future. So when when did you know the future that you know who will and who won't convert to Islam? Look at Umar bin al-Khattab, one, uh, one of the companions, one of the leaders after Prophet Muhammad. Do you think anyone thought that he would become a Muslim? Omar hated Islam and he fought against the Muslims and one day he was on his way to kill the Prophet. Do you think anyone thought Omar would convert to Islam? Nobody expected that to happen. But he did become Muslim and he's one of the greatest Muslims that has ever walked this earth. So, come on. You do not know who will and who won't become Muslim, man. That is That knowledge is with Allah. Anyone can become Muslim. Straight up, anyone can become Muslim and anyone can leave Islam. That's what our religion teaches us. So these people you share these videos and these pictures about and all this, they can convert to Islam one day. One day the sister puts on a hijab. One day the brother, uh, you know, converts to Islam, whatever, and they got to live the rest of their lives with us sharing these embarrassing moments about them in their days of jahiliyyah. 
This is wrong. So you need to think about stuff like that, man. Listen, either act like a Muslim or don't be one. You don't have to be a Muslim. Go and be a kafir if that's what you want to do. If you want to be a kafir and you love immorality and sex tapes and love and rap and all this BS that these people do in this entertainment world, if you love that and, and that is in your heart, go be with them. Nobody is forcing you to be a Muslim. But as long as you are going to be a Muslim, there's a code of conduct that you need to follow. And there's just certain things you do not do. So may Allah guide us and rectify our affairs. I mean, we do not need to be sharing this stuff on, on social media anymore. May Allah guide us to wake up on this issue. These people can convert to Islam one day. You never lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in Surah Yusuf in uh, chapter 12, verse 87, Allah says, the only people who lose hope in the mercy of Allah are the disbelievers. So there is always hope one day that a person can rectify their affairs and they can convert to Islam and they can become practicing Muslims and a benefit to this ummah. So we don't need to be sharing this stuff about these people because we don't know when this will happen. Share other things, man. You don't need to share stuff like that. I love all of you for the sake of Allah. If there's anything I can never do, any help I can give, inbox me on Facebook or YouTube. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.